guys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Splash Cars. This game is published by East Asia Soft and it's developed by Paper Bunker. This game is going to take you about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, to get the full 1000 gamer score. However, it's actually a really fun game. And on top of that, the game is only $6.99. Now, before we dive into the game itself, let's go over the achievements. So, once you get to this main menu, right? Right here at least for the single player mode we can see a few things first and foremost we can see the star rating for each level so every time you complete a level you're either going to get a one star two star or hopefully three stars you could also see the requirements for each of the stars for instance to get a one star you need to cover four percent of the map to get a two star it'd be 19 percent and to three star the tutorial you need to cover at least 34 percent of the map now, every level you're going to notice a red outline over one of the stars. It may be the first star, the second, or even three star. If there's a red outline around the star, it means that you're required to get at least this star to be able to proceed to the next level. So if there's a red outline around the second star, that means you need to get at least two stars to be able to advance to the next level. In some situations, you're going to see the red outline over the third star, which would mean that you would need to three star that level in effort to advance to the next one. Now, we do have a few achievements related to three starring levels. Ultimately, we need to three star at least eight levels. So luckily, the game doesn't require us to three star every level, let alone complete every level. We actually only need to get to the 15th level in the game. So you want to go ahead and take a mental note of a few of these goals before you dive into this completion. You're going to need to get to level 15, and you're also going to need to three star at least eight of those 15 levels. Obviously, the first eight levels are going to be the easiest to three star. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't keep retrying the same level over and over again. I would simply make your way through the first 15 levels, and then if you need to, go back and three star at least eight of the levels. Again, preferably the first eight levels. But who knows, you may get lucky and three star, you know, level 11, 12, 13, or any other random levels below 15. So now that we talked about the level progression related achievements, let's talk about the achievements related to purchasing cars. So we have three achievements related to purchasing specific vehicles. When you start off the game for the first time, you're going to start off with this daisy right here. The second car is called the bug and you're going to need to purchase that car for an achievement. You're also going to need to purchase the fourth car, which is the petite. And then the fifth one, the truck, you actually get for free uh, via level progression. And then the one after that is the Supremer, this car right here. It kind of resembles a skyline. You're going to need to purchase this vehicle to get the third car related achievement. Just know you won't be able to purchase the third one right away. You're going to have to progress through the game just a little bit before you can go ahead and purchase it. But that's fine. You want to purchase the other two vehicles first. Now, all of the other achievements are going to be related to the gameplay itself. So let's go ahead and dive into the game and I'll explain how it works. Now, in this game, you're going to start off in a gray world. It's going to look very dull and your job is to bring color back to the world one level at a time. If you look up on the upper right hand corner, it shows at what percent of the level is filled with color. As you fill it up, that percentage will increase. Now, I want to point out a couple things. My levels are going to look the same as your levels. They're not randomly generated. However, everything else in the game is randomly generated. For instance, the location where the police spawn, the locations of the trucks and farm vehicles that help you out, the locations of the coins, the gas, and the power-ups, they're all randomized. So, showing you each of the 15 levels would be a complete waste of time because everything is going to be located in a different area for my playthrough compared to your playthrough. So, I can't exactly show you the best path to color through the level or anything like that. The best I could do is give you some tips to help you find success in the game. Now, one of the main game mechanics is the gas system. You can see how much gas you have on the upper center screen. As you start to drive around, your gas is going to lower. If it goes all the way to empty, the level's going to end. Well, maybe. You can basically pay some money to basically get one more tank of gas and a little bit more time to try to fill up the level, but you can only get one of those. So the main thing that we're fighting against here is losing our gas. As you make your way through the level, you're going to find these green gas tanks, and this will fill up your gas a little bit at a time. Just keep in mind that if your gas tank is already full and you pick up a gas tank, you're completely wasting that gas tank, and that's really important because there's a limited amount of these gas tanks in each level. So you don't want to pick up a gas tank if your tank is already full because you will completely waste that gas power up so make sure that you pick up these things sparingly as you need gas now aside from focusing on gas and making sure that you don't run out of fuel you're also focused on filling up the level with color now one thing you're going to notice about this game is that there's some vehicles going around the level not the cops but like the farm vehicles and the garbage trucks 
you're going to notice that at first they're grayed out and what they're going to do is they're going to wipe away all your color what you can do is you can drive close to these vehicles and they're going to fill with color and they'll start painting the level for you and you're basically going to have some help filling up the level with color you can fill you know two maybe even three garbage trucks uh, back with color and they're going to start painting the streets so you can focus on the neighborhoods and rural areas and the garbage trucks will kind of fill the color on all the streets or at least whatever paths they have different garbage trucks have different paths also there's these farm vehicles that will go in the rural areas uh, you know go around the houses things like that you can also fill those farm vehicles up with color and they'll help fill up the world as well so typically anytime I started up a level, I went to the vehicles first and filled them with color. That way they were helping me out and not playing against me because if you don't fill those vehicles with color, they will erase the color that you are placing down because they're desaturated. They're basically desaturating all the color that you've laid down. So number one tip is right when you start a level, go make sure that you fill all the vehicles up with color that being the garbage trucks and the farm vehicles just know that if you run into one of the vehicles i believe they respawn grayed out again and you'll have to recolor them so you just want to drive close enough to them to be able to give them color again but make sure that you don't actually crash into them aside from that you just want to make sure that you don't run out of gas so while you're filling the level with color just make sure that you're picking up these green gas cans sparingly and then along the way you're also going to see coins you can go ahead and collect these coins. We have an achievement related to collecting 1,000 coins. You're sure to get this naturally while playing through the first 15 levels. I also want to point out that you actually don't need to collect 1,000 coins. Every time you collect a coin, it's worth a different amount. So some coins are worth uh, 5 coins and then some coins are worth 20 coins. So you're actually going to reach quote unquote 1,000 coins a lot faster than collecting 1,000 coins individually. They're not worth one apiece. They're actually worth much more than that. Aside from that achievement, the coins are also important because you'll need these coins to purchase the three vehicles that we talked about earlier in this video. Ultimately, the better vehicle that you have, the better you're going to do. For instance, once you're able to purchase the Supremer, the vehicle is a lot faster, which means that you can cover a lot of ground faster, which ultimately equals to filling up the world with color faster. So the better the vehicle, the faster that you're going to be able to fill it with color, which makes the levels easier and makes three-starring the levels a lot easier. So if you haven't got the eight levels with three-star, you can go back and visit the earlier levels with a better car, and it's going to be much easier to three-star those levels now that you have a better vehicle compared to when you just started the game. Now, aside from the gas tanks and the coins, you're also going to see power-ups. There's a variety of power-ups and we do have achievements related to picking up these power-ups. They help in different ways. Sometimes they help to, you know, cover more ground or this one, for example, turns you into a police officer and turns all of the officers into regular people and you have to chase them and they fill up the map with color. I actually don't like this power up because when you're the police officer, you're not filling it up with color at all. And I found that it's a big waste of time. So maybe avoid the police officer power up. Sometimes they help distract the police or even disable the police. You want to make sure that you pick up these power ups when you can. The only thing that I'd watch out for is the magnet one. It's kind of a blessing and a curse. Sometimes it can bring a gas can that's just a little far away to you right before you run out of gas. But in other times, you know, sometimes it collects a gas can that maybe you didn't want to collect uh, because you already had a full tank. So make sure that if you activate that magnet, you don't go magnetize all the gas cans in the level right away. Otherwise, you're not going to find success on that level. But yeah, that's going to cover a good explanation of how this game works, how to play it, and some good tips and tricks uh, that are going to help you get that 1000G or platinum trophy. Aside from that, again, our main goals here are to complete 15 levels and to three star eight of those levels. All the other achievements should really just follow while you're playing the game. You're going to find that more than likely the last achievement you're going to get is for completing that 15th level. If not, it's more than likely the one for three starring the eight levels. Also, a quick tip for level 15. You don't need to play it. So after you complete level 14, go into level 15, press start and quit the level and it will give you the achievement for playing it. Aside from that, let's just go ahead and double check. Yup, I got 1000 G out of 1000 G. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Bengsa, Curse Souls, and GamertagNation.com. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.